Well, alrighty, scavengers. Good morning. How's everybody doing? Uh, just out here doing my thing. Uh, Snow is finally starting to melt, and the aftermath is pursuing. <laughs> Runs at the uh, grocery stores. People without water. People without electricity. Luckily for us, we were out for two days. No power. We never lost water, which was good. And then, you know, I did my due diligence running the tap, you know, just dripping, 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 dripping. And uh, luckily for us, no no uh, busted pipes. Had one of them freeze up on an exterior wall, but we got that taken care of. Unlike my neighbor, unfortunately, she had a pipe bust right there. And then she hit call, uh, came out there a couple days ago. She came over banging on the door. She's like, can you come look at my house? And on the side of the house, it was like a waterfall just coming right out from underneath the little uh, facade right there. And uh, we walked into her house and you could just see water just starting to just just f just come in from the, the outside wall, just filling up her living room. So she's without water right now. Oh, it's a sad situation. You know, she's an elderly lady by herself. So doing what we can to take care of our neighbors. Uh, lady across the street over there. Uh, also, she's got her car and everything drug out. Uh, she had a pipe bust inside of her garage. And apparently she had a lot of stuff on her in her garage that got wet. It's just, a, it's just a total mess. And I know, you know, there's people up north saying, you know, that we don't know how to deal with this. And you're right, we don't know how to deal with this. We're in Texas, you know. Our Walmarts don't sell snow boots and, you know, big poofy jackets, you know. They sell flip-flops and beach towels. That's, that's what Texas is. But we're getting this uh, past us, getting through it. A lot of uh, faulty, faulty things uh, brought to light. Uh, learned uh, a lot of lessons learned here for sure. And uh, hopefully the powers that be uh, pull their heads out of their out of their asses but anyways so yeah i've been working on my scrap pile over here got some uh, stuff going uh, you know we'll put together a little scrap run for you guys because i haven't really been able to get out and do much dumpster diving uh with the weather it is people ain't been going to work i you know this and that uh you know <laughs> so just been hanging it hanging at home staying low or laying low just working on my hoard but anyways as promised we're gonna go ahead and uh Take apart this little uh, Invacare Home Fill 2. It is a uh, a tank filler machine, so it's probably got. Or no, it does. It's gonna have a pump in there and a little motor and who knows what else. But being that it's a medical piece, I mean, I can tell you right here, this is brass. But being that this is a medical device, it's probably gonna have some good stuff in it. So, anyways, let's go ahead and uh, crack this puppy open see what we're looking at well all right we're gonna go ahead get this external shell shell off over here I got me a little tote to uh, put my parts in some of it will be clean some it'll be mixed up but then you know that's that's why we're gonna do it just take take it apart put the good stuff in here throw the iron scrap back here and the plastic toss it toss out uh, and then with this uh, when I get all my stuff here, if it can be cleaned up more, that's kind of like what I got going on over here. When I sort my stuff, clean stuff, clean stuff. Um, and then when I have stuff, you know, that I need to take a further look at to try to break down. Basically, this is all breakage. Well, except except for that. That's a little neoprene, whatever, and, and that guy. But as it sits, breakage. And then I go through, and if I can clean it up more or clean it up more, you know, all this stuff right here, you would be able to get these little screws out nice and easy. Uh, so that's what we're going to do over here. Just get a little bucket and then from there take the little bucket and you can even bring it inside because it's so small and uh, you know the wife won't be too crazy or won't get too uh, too upset because you're not going to make a huge mess. But anyway, let's go ahead and pull this off. All, right, all these screws right here. And this is why I like doing it on the back of the truck. Toss your stuff back there. I mean, look, I still got ice back there. That's crazy. All right. That's like from two days ago. Ice, and when we do get ice in Texas, it doesn't last this long. Insane. There's another hard freeze warning for tonight. So, yeah, we're going to have ice in tomorrow. All right. Got the, uh, this guy. Probably bang that out with a freaking hammer, huh? Yep, there it goes. All right. Put a little, uh, put a little too much, uh, Ooh, it's so soggy over here. Ooh. But yeah, we got her water turned off. And her pool was leaking too. Crazy. Uh, all right. So here is the inside of what we got going on up in here. Look at this thing. What? That looks like some good stuff right there, man. Take this guy off. This plate right here. Probably, if I take a stab at it, 
probably say this plate's gonna be a piece of aluminum. We'll go ahead and cut everything here. Unplug here. Do some ripping. There we go. Yeah, that's super light, definitely a piece of aluminum. Uh, throw it in my little tub here, clean it up here a little bit later. All this crap should just pop right out. And that screws and stuff. I'm gonna get a piece of clean sheet aluminum right there. Uh, all right, let's get this guy over here. This little brass piece, this hookup piece right here. Oh, there's a uh, there's a pin in it right here. Needs to come out. Yeah, and some people can be destructive. I like to just. I mean, I've been doing this since I was a little kid, just taking things apart. Let's see here, seeing how they work, how they go together. Was never really good at putting them back together though, but I was really good at taking things apart. Just set up. So that should be coming up. Got a screw here. There we go. And it's got some brass copper here. Yeah, clean that up. Little Phillips head. This is just going to go in my little pile of stuff to further sort. But yeah, little Phillips head, pop that off. And you probably get... Probably get mostly brass for that. You can probably cut that off, bang that off. But yeah, that's a brass valve. Throw that in the pile, clean that up. There's our, there got electric motor down here. That looks like a number two. Let's see if we can hear a number three. Let's see. Yeah, we got her up. And cut this puppy. Cut this puppy loose right here. There is a, there's an electric motor. Ready to scrap out as is. There's a little bit of copper in there, but these littler ones don't have as much as those bigger ones do. All right, we can go ahead and just start cleaning up here. That's all gonna be uh, number one copper right there. Someone had emailed me and asked me about the difference between number one and number two. Uh, number one is basically just, you know, clean. As I said, it's clean. Number two is gonna be uh, like a like a soldered elbow, or if there's like paint uh, or any kind of sealant where it's not clean. Basically, it's got you know, it's mainly copper, but there's a little bit of extra stuff on there. You can't sell, you know. I guess because it goes through a further process when. Uh, Recycling. I don't know. Let me pull that right out. Yeah, so definitely getting some clean copper off of here. And there's some good brass in there, stainless. Take a look here with this. So there is the Garçois. And hook this puppy right here. Most of this stuff you just pull apart. Right, got hold on here. And then this, you got your little fan there. Let's get that guy taken off. Got my little bit set. Got that for Christmas. I go through bits like crazy, but I like it. I like it. This stuff actually works. We plug this thing in. I mean, it's fired right up. But you know, medical stuff. Medical stuff, man. Right. 
get that guy off of there. And there's really not a whole lot of like scrap value in this fan here. But you can definitely clean it up. probably be using a hex bit but not exactly the right tool for the job but it is what it is yeah look at that plug that got a working fan right here there's not even any dust in it like this this, this like i said it looked like this thing had 17 i think the timer said 17 hours or something yeah zero 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 one seven it's like so even like this guy right here It all works. Ugh. Like the little counter works. I wonder if you can take it apart and roll it back to zero. I don't know. All right, let's see what we got rolling up up in here. Oh yeah, need to clean that up just a little bit more. Whew. I'm actually getting kind of used to this cold weather. It's not too bad. I mean, I have two sweaters and a jacket on. Long pants, long pants go a long way in the cold. All this. Yeah. Plastico. And then there's some wires. You can cut them suckers off right there. Gotta clean these up. Just a little, you know, no, no, no good for nothing. Really, e board. Got a little bit going on over here. <laughs> but yeah, it is kind of a shame taking this thing apart now that I'm seeing how how new it was. But I had it for a few weeks. Nobody really seemed interested. So. And then yeah, all this right here. Got some wireage. Yeah, this is going to be what's called number two. Uh, you know, the, uh, if you look in there, you can see that there is a copper core. I don't know if y'all can see. I can't see my camera angle. Uh, right, right there in the middle. But the uh, the, ho the outer insulation on it is a, it's much thicker than that you'd see on like the uh, the number one stuff. Actually, I got some right here. All right. All right. Let's see. Yeah, see this stuff right here where there's there's insulation but not a whole lot and this one's got much thicker so this is number two wiring right there but i got a little bucket right here but put my number two in there a little trash pile pull the wires out but yeah i'll go through i'm gonna clean clean these up here a little bit later but yeah that's what you get out of there is those those little gadgets i'm curious about this guy right over here i want to see what this is all about Look at that. All that brass. Let's see what we need. We need a Torx bit. I don't think I got a Torx in this. In this little, my little Evolve box. I've had it for a long time. <laughs> it was like a, I think I got it like almost when I moved into like my first apartment. Yeah, you keep your keep your little socket sets together, man. They'll they'll uh they'll last. Oh, man. Anyways, what's the temp like where you guys are at? I know the northeast is getting it right now. But someone they're like in Florida and they're like, oh yeah, it's like you know seventy degrees, son. But not to worry, we're in Texas. It'll be like that here in two days. <laughs> Go from wind chill of minus seven to uh, 70 degrees a week later. Look at that. Holy cow. All right, let's get us a bit on here. The bigger bit. <sighs> I don't 
tabs on there. Probably had a little Loctite or something. Yeah, I can see the blue Loctite thread locker in there. Yeah, so let's take... I don't know what those are. Let's take a quick little look. What is that? 716th? Yep. I have the little bit thing right here for it. it unscrews so that looks like it's gonna be some brass and stainless right here oh okay these are little pistons that's the uh, the cylinder and the pistons go back it spins in the pit and it's generating oxygen golly look at that yeah this reminds me of back when I used to work on pumps you know this would be like the the head and then there's the cylinder Get your plunger, your rings. Almost just like a car, a piston, man. I say this is like back when I worked on pump. This is a pump. All right, but look at that. Big old, big old chunk of brass right there. Let's see, there's a little bit of an O-ring right in here. Or a little seal. O-ring. Yeah, that's a good, good solid chunk of brass right here. Good stuff, good stuff through and through, baby. Good chunk. Yeah, that probably, I don't know, probably close to a pound. Although it's not a solid block block, there's like a little screen in there. Wow, let's see if we can put a little, put a little pick through it, clean it up. But that's about as clean as I usually, gonna, I'm gonna get on that brass, you know. Uh, that looks like stainless. Oh, that is not. Yeah, that's magnetic. So, yeah, that... That right there is going to be a piece of... Uh, big old piece of uh, aluminum. That chunk. Where these are all the brass. That's going to be a big chunk of aluminum right there. plates in the way I have to figure I probably have to just break that that's a that piece of, that's a piece of cast aluminum right there probably break that clean it up that's insane look at this thing let's take this piece off hold on All right, so we got this uh, allen wrench here I don't actually have a uh, one of the little allen wrench sets that go on to a uh, like a ratchet or something that's on my that's on my list of things to get though a little uh hex key socket set that i can just attach to the drill and make this uh this line of work a little bit faster i don't know why i haven't done it yet uh, you know you can just cut the l off of the top there but then it's hard to keep track of like what size it is this is better to have a little little something something there but let's see what we got here all right got them all off there out wedge something in there all right my little el cheapo harbor freight chisel that's turned into a uh of <laughs> the wrong tool sorry right, i got it i got a newer set so it's almost like it's pressed on there There it goes. Yeah, right there. Piece of aluminum. Yeah, cast aluminum right there. Go ahead and pull, pull all these guys out. Right there. Alright, and then that same scenario. Let's see what we got coming. Got here. 
Yeah, another. Yeah, that's that's a piece of aluminum right there. I think it's not plastic. No, oh, that's aluminum. We got that one off. Break that sucker. I'm guessing with these guys, there's probably a wrist pin in there. With the, the little piston heads. There's probably something going on. I think I saw something right here. Yeah, there's Probably presses in. Does it just come right out? Sure does. And then this cut, that looks like it's probably pressed in. So I'll, I'll try to like just, just cut it up and then you know, get your brass, what your brass. But yeah, that's how that works. All screwed in. I still don't. Help! Help! So that piece there. This guy. I don't know how they how they got that. That's insane. All right, break it up. Break it up. I don't know if I can break it right here. Close your eyes. Oh, there it goes. Pop right up. Didn't have to break it up. Break it up. But yes, this is going to be a piece of sixty sixty one. Big old thick piece of like plate. That's good stuff. Take the little O-ring out. Take brass out. Boom. Clean. There you go. There you go. Thanks, son. See you next week. All right. Ooh, that's a big boy right there. It should come out here. Yeah, that's no bueno. Step there. Look at, yeah, see, look at that. It turns. Little crankshaft and everything. And then when it turned, they all went to their respective holes. The little pistons. Just like in a car engine. Just like in a car engine. That's almost... That's wanting to come off right there. All right. Watch your eyes. Watch your eyes. Your sea balls. Boy, it's almost there. All right. So we're gonna take this puppy. I'm gonna take this puppy and beat it out. Close your eyes. There we go. That pissed it on there, man. Almost got that off of there. Yeah, bearings are falling apart. Dude. Look at that. Got a little piston. Got part numbers. Yeah, that's all aluminum right there. Here's my little bucket to clean up some stuff. That's just machined metal right there. A little trash stuff. So. Yeah! That's uh, that's about the gist of taking one of those apart. It's right here. Big old piece of cast aluminum. Iron there. And there's a couple of little pieces here. Come through with the broom, sweep up the driveway. But anyways, yeah. So uh, I hope that was as therapeutic for you as it was me. I love taking stuff apart. Uh, but like I said, you know, I got my little... Uh, 
my little bucket right here of my goodness go through it clean it up as best i can to get as much money as i possibly can the cleaner it is the more money you'll make like this right here totally clean you know you clean these up get all that stuff off got clean that's going to be a piece of stainless so got a little bit of scrap in that sucker but uh, that's going to do it on this episode of taking stuff apart it was definitely a good experience for me hope the same applies to you uh appreciate y'all tagging along checking out what i'm doing on uh this whatever day it is i don't even know uh but uh yeah appreciate it uh we're gonna try to get out there here in a day or two see if we can get back out there do some dumpster stuff i got like i said i got a scrap run lined up we'll do a little scrap run for you guys get all this stuff cleaned up and we'll shoot up there a scrap yard hopefully they open up pretty soon and get a few bucks and then hopefully by uh you know hopefully by the uh next week you know we can get back to life as usual so fingers crossed on that but anyways thank y'all so much peace <laughs>